Hey guys and welcome back to another match day vlog. Today, not so at home to Forest Green Rovers. Oh, you can tell we've gone run like crap over the last few years when in 2017 I'm saying we're at home to Forest Green Rovers. Wow. Knots are still top of the league despite last weekend's defeat. But we're only top on goal difference now because Exeter closed the gap after beating Morecambe 4-1. Forest Green are bottom, they've conceded, I believe it's 26 goals in their first 11 games. So, the defence obviously leaking goals at the minute. Hopefully, hopefully we can get back on track today and stay top of the league. Come on, Knots. Come on, you pies. Let's do this. Right, so we are here. We're, we're here a little bit earlier, so the team news is actually coming out in a, a, a few minutes. We have got to walk around the whole of the ground to get Megan's ticket because I'm an idiot and I didn't get ran it get one in advance. But yeah, we're here very we're here early. It's just um, just over an hour till kick off. Yeah, big crowd expected. Thirteen thousand in the ground. Buzzing. Come on, you pies. The team news is out. <laughs> Glad Hawkridge is back in today, that's good. Thought it's a lot from which I assume my BOB is fit, but not not fit enough to start yet. Yeah, glad about, glad about Fort being up front instead. Hawkridge is back in, he really should have started last weekend against Mansfield. But yeah, go on lots. Ages, cultures, and backgrounds. And if you want to make a donation to football and community, and these are very, very young backers, and also support their own phone projects, all you have to do is simply donate, and you can donate from your phone. And that is by doing this, you can simply text FITC16. So you might not be able to see the forest green pants in the corner. I've had a count, and I reckon it was about 92, 93. Forest Green fans, Yanis, what are we going for? What, for the score? What yeah. are they forest, for the Forest Green fans, how many do you think there is? 55. Oh. Megan, how many do you think there is? <laughs> yeah, not a great away following, but what can you expect? But yeah, it's a, it's a big, it's a crowd of extra bigness. It is. It is. Because if we don't score, they'll come into the game as a 
goes on. What is going on? We're losing to Forest. Midfield, midfield again, not doing anything. Mid, the midfield have been woeful so far. Absolute dreadful. This is, this is absolutely shocking for us. It's almost half time. Well, about 10 minutes to half time anyway. This is absolutely shocking. Come here thinking we've already won the game. It looks it just, you know, you know, it, it might be a bit hard, you know, but we'll still win. Just not to knock it all away. Again, like the Mansell game, we're second to every single ball. We've got no headers. Not getting the wingers involved. Shocking. Bit of an issue at half time with, with the service on the kiosks. Go on then. Instead, so slow. And that's not normal. Yeah, but we bought Shola on now, so hopefully. And, uh, and Hewitt, who I said we should have bought him on. Uh, at, at, half, at half time, I said we should have bought him on to add some energy to midfield, but yeah, still 1 0 down. Oh dear. I honestly can't believe how bad we have been. Honestly, that pass sums it up. Hewitt, all he has to do is to do some good up and play. We've been absolutely woeful. It's ridiculous. This, this is a team at the top of the league. It's woeful. But no, we didn't need another striker. Of course we didn't. Time report on this not very exciting but dramatic 1 1 draw. To play that badly and to get a point shows just how bad Forest Green are. Absolutely appalling. They're a non league team in every single way. And to play as badly as that and get a point, it still feels like a defeat. It really does. But it's a point, isn't it? We'll take it. I didn't to score in the sixth minute of five minutes injury time in Dooby. <laughs> it's full time, it's finished 1 1. My voice is completely gone. Woeful, woeful performance by Knotts. Not good enough. 
rescued a point in the 96th minute. Not good enough. It was a John Sheridan performance there today. Two, two route one. Forest Green Limited is to play in route one football. They got the goal and they got their goal. That was their tactic, you know, go and sit back, try and pull upset. One of the worst games of football I think I've ever seen in my life. But it's conjured up a point at the absolute finale of the game. Yeah, not not good enough today. Not good enough at all. Lost every header, like I said earlier. Second to every ball. Can't believe that. Like a high pressing game at the start of the season, where we like in the, uh, before pre Mansfield, we we were. We, we got to every ball, we won it, we, we were in there for every header, we got to the ball first every time, but, but well, most of the time. But since but in these last two games against Mansfield and the Forest Green, we've lost every header and we've, and we've been second to nearly every ball in every challenge and it's just not been good enough at all. I expected a better performance against Barnet. So, we are back from Meadow Lane, it's finished Knox County 1. Forest Green Rovers won a pretty poor performance by not, so I'm not gonna lie. You know, not up to standard. Um, not like not like we were in September at all, to be honest. Might be the magic of the month curse, you never know. But yeah, not a great performance. Yeah, I think Forest Green weren't great. They rarely weren't. You can tell the bottom of the league, but played into their hands, you know, they, we got down to their standard and we were just woeful from then on. 96th minute equaliser to save our home record this season. Honestly, got to be one of the worst games of football I've ever, ever seen. Forest Green weren't a great side. Nuts were woeful. Yeah, a point apiece. Pretty much sum, sums it up, to be honest. I'm surprised there actually were goals because it was that bad. But yeah, we dropped down to second place, but we're still in the top three. We're two points clear of fourth place at Coventry. I think Coventry is still fourth. It might be Accrington, I don't know. But if you enjoyed the vlog, give it a like. Comment down below your thoughts on the game. Stay subscribed if you're already subscribed. Subscribe if you're new. Be safe. Be champions. And as always, Tsulush.